apples is a good meal, it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it, it, After a while, you want to be fried chicken. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I would just admit that, that being in Hawaii is a, definitely a culture shock after a while because it's just a huge Asian influence here. So it kind of feels like you're just in an Asian world, you know. Uh, but overall, you create your own wherever you are. So um, thank God for that. But I, I, I miss the mainland, but I do love the weather here. So I'm not going to complain too, too much. Too, you really too much. miss the mainland? I miss the mainland because I know homecoming is coming up soon, and I'm going to miss that. But, <laughs> but uh, hey. you know, you'll represent. You're not going to be homecoming. You talked about it all those years. Yeah, but uh, the <laughs> homecoming pay to get over there from here to the states is crazy. You know, just even for the the, the kids just to come visit here from Cali, that was like fourteen hundred dollars. You know, Ooh. so them, them tickets are not oh, wow. very costly. So I'll wait till next year September to. Because next year, September, we plan to move either. I think we're going to come close and move to Texas. So if that's the case, then I'll be able to start traveling again and come back to the Carolinas uh, to visit family, you know. So uh, okay. in the meantime, in between time, you guys just, you know, hold it down. And I'll continue to step in with y'all. But I do love where we are right now. Um, it's it feels like an exciting era for the voice of the people. I can recall when I when I look back at this, I just remember the support that both of you guys gave. You know, I stepped out on a, a wing and a prayer and started it. When I asked Dean to step in, he um he said yes immediately. Oh, and by the way, I don't know who did the new logo, but it looks really fat. Uh, I don't know who's person. Was oh, that okay. you, Dean? Who did that? That, that was a big move. That 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 was that was my move. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks awesome. Like uh, the microphone Appreciate blazing. It. It's really hot. I like it. It's hot. It's hot. Uh, that's what that's yeah. what we but, do. We keep moving. We keep improving. You know what I mean? That's what that's how we rolling right now. And, and in fact, yeah. if anybody's out there listening in the sixteen countries, twenty six states. You can call in and join the conversation. It's just a roundtable discussion. It's the voice of the people, y'all. Yeah. 646 668 8393. It's Todd Jones, Mark Lee, and I'm the six man Dean Geronimo. It's the voice of the people. Yeah, it's a party. Um, also, it's a next party. Week, what, do we got, what do we got going on next week, guys? From what it's going to be a whole discussion. It, uh, it's a, yeah, it's going to be a discussion on hip hop. So we've got. Solomon, who's a hip hop artist, we've got Blue Rain, who's out of Atlanta. I believe that you have talked to uh, Jay Reed, so we're hoping Jay Reed to be on yep. there, and then also uh, the gentleman that's up in uh, New York that you had asked about as well. So we're hoping to have a round table, um, um, just about maybe five or six folks that are involved with the hip hop industry. I really want to try to get somebody from the West Coast as well, because I just want to show how hip hop is all over the nation. Maybe even if I can find somebody on the world side as well. So we've definitely got at least three and possibly five that will be discussing hip-hop, where it's at now, and also the different styles that exist in the different regions. Because, you know, what... So with that said, I'll try to reach out to Positive K since he's over there in Atlanta, old school representing, and he seems to still be doing his thing. I'll reach out to Positive K, see if he wants to call in and be a part of the discussion. It's always great to have, okay. um, you know, old school, new school <laughs> perspectives. I like that. So I'll try to reach out to a few of the old school cats and we'll see if one of them can call in. I think that's always a blessing. Okay. Yeah, we can have both and, old school and, and new school. That would be a wonderful thing. And what yeah, we're going to yeah. do here at, at the Voice of the People is wish hip-hop a happy 44th birthday on August 11th. Hip-hop will be 44 okay. years old. And they said it wouldn't last. How about that? Wow. <laughs> 44, 44 I'm 40, years old. That means it's, 
it's been around for as long as I've been around since I'm 44 years um, old and I was born August 26th. So wow. Yeah, yeah, you were born <laughs> so after hip hop. I'm 11 yeah, days yeah. older than hip hop, so you know we grew up together. So you know Maybe. what I mean. And, and yeah. To see it where it is now, and I got a song at the end of the show that I want to um, rock out on. It's um, <laughs> comes from Jam Rock Fridays. My sis Rhapsody from the Jamla Squad now signed to Rock Nation, yeah. and it's called it's called a point. So we gonna rock that out at the end of the show. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's gonna be real good when we rock that out. Hello. Hey, Chad, hey, have you been following all the craziness been, that's been going on in the world? Because you know, I know that sometimes what's happening in the mainland isn't as followed as well as what's happening over in uh, by the folks in Hawaii and Alaska. But I was just wondering if you were following the insanity of what's going on in the White House and the rest of the country, and if you were getting an impression as to what people were saying about it over there in Hawaii and uh, that area, because. I know sometimes that communication is different over there than over here. Honestly, um, spirits are low when it comes to the direction that the president um, has been taking with some of the decision-making that he's been doing. I know a lot of military personnel here uh, really don't like to even comment on certain things that Trump has been doing because um, they just try to stay neutral right now. Seems like he even put a freeze and a halt on the um, promotion processes with some of the, the truth on getting their promotion, um, some that were well overdue. So it seems like some of his actions have been taken effect with a lot of the military personnel that are living here. Um, that's pretty much all my comments with him. I'm not really big on politics, Mark. I kind of leave that to you. I don't know, I was just, I was just curious as to what you thought about what was happening, because, you know, we've been following a little bit of everything. I was also, have you been following what's going on even on the entertainment side with the Bachelorette? Because I thought that we're down to four candidates on that, and they were actually I mean, doing... the biggest thing I have to tell y'all that I, I love right now, OJ is free, and so yeah. is Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, they but you know what? They Julio took a, like, what's, but but Julio took an L, man. Julio took an L, yeah. man. And, and, and you know what? It's time I for the dude like Dre that. to get up out there. Like it's time yeah, for Dre yeah, to yeah. go. It's, a, it's crazy right now. Like the plot is gonna thicken, guys. I mean, if anybody is a big, huge fan of power, right now I'm a huge power fanatic. The things that are going on, the plot is definitely thickening. <laughs> You know, Tommy has got some big decisions to make, but when has Tommy not been put in this position before as, to, as far as the two the side? You know what I'm saying? Milan tried right. with Tommy. Um, he played poker face with him. This dude is doing the same thing. And I didn't see Tommy getting shot, you know, this past Sunday, but other dude that did get shot, that was kind of a surprise. I didn't see that coming. But now there's some big things that are about to happen with Tommy. You know, L.A. was introduced, mate, they gonna, they wanted to expand uh, from the trailer next week. It didn't seem like Tommy was too pissed off at Ghost taking his staff to save his son, but Kanan is still in the picture, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of storylines floating about right now. Um, yeah. So I'm excited yeah. about the show. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's yeah, going to be actually, interesting to see how it plays. Yeah, actually, yes, this, stumbled across this. that show. I actually stumbled across that show on my birthday because I was on uh, which was the first of the month. So, like Dean has said, he took it out the month. I brought it in, but the first of the month on the second, I went to visit some friends in Raleigh, and they, uh, the daughters of my good friend, were over there, and they started putting it on the uh, VCR. So I watched a little bit of the last couple of episodes that were like a few weeks back, and. I've definitely got to try to find a way to start watching it on a regular basis because even I was impressed by the plot line and the acting of power. So it was definitely a show that it's going to be on my list of things to start catching on a regular basis. And I'm glad that he is free because the last time I saw him, he was still in the pen. So I'm glad he's out. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a little bit more realistic than Empire. Um, the storyline is a little bit more believable. And I don't know if you guys are into it, but I'm also into Game of Thrones right now. That's another show that I watch. Um, I haven't watched it. 
Game of Thrones is interesting. It's 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 more like a Spartacus meets uh, Spartacus meets what do you uh what's that show? Um, like a Spartan Spartan type show. Uh, it's royalty. Okay. It's playing chess. Um, it's a lot of war going on among kingdoms and who's going to rule what, but it's pretty interesting. So uh, you would have to binge watch that one to catch up to what's going on with that. Uh, as far as um, hip-hop goes, before we head out of here, um, where we are in hip-hop right now, quick question, I always ask you guys that because, you know, I'm over here and the biggest thing people are listening to is future or other things. I mean, what's up in the where in y'all neck of the woods? What's popping? What's popular? And, and uh, Dean, I know sometimes how you feel when I'm in certain artists. Um, well, you being you know in, I, you know, Jamila and the record pool, what do you see with the progression of hip hop and, and the directions it's going? I, I say two things. You know. Go with what you like. If something doesn't right. vibe with you, just don't worry about it. Roll with what you like. Dig a little deeper because you'll find some some lovely things. And make sure that you check title out on Fridays. It's Jam Rock Fridays, and, and you know it's a it's a single being dropped at least for the last three weeks. Rhapsody has dropped three. You know what I mean. And and it's more to come. And from there, if your thing is future, that's your thing. If your thing is Wayne, that's your thing. You know, Kanye, that's your thing. You know, a lot of people are loving the 444 right now. Um, but it, it's, it's what you like. How? So, you know. Are you are you and, feeling and, that 444? Do you like any of the it, tracks on that on that um, album? I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. So uh, before okay. I, you know, make a comment, I've heard a couple, but in, in the running around that I've been doing, you know, I've been kind of like grabbing where I can grab, what I can grab, and and then kind of like chilling out a little bit. But I do plan to take a, 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 a good listen to sit down and see what I like. Some things I may not like, you know, I'm not, but that's okay. You know, I'm not mean? a big, huge... I'm I'm not a big huge Jay Z fan, but I will give him props on this album. It's not a whole slew of songs, but uh, it seems like this one you can you can hear his growth. Um, you can definitely tell he's a father. You can definitely tell he's um, grown and matured in areas in his life because this album it sounds like a, a reflection. He's reflective on a right. lot of things that have occurred in his lifetime. Um, he even gets in deep with little uh, uh, a little verse that he throws in about his mom's and 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 uh, it's just it's just interesting to see and hear the Jay Z now as opposed to Big Pimpin' and a few other big songs which were always hot. Jay Z's always been a, uh, on the charts and, and always popular with the people, but this this album right here it shows Jay Z's growth. And then on another note. I did get to watch on Apple um, Diddy's documentary. Like, it was a, a short movie about him bringing mm-hmm. back all of his artists from Bad Boy and them going on doing a concert. It was actually interesting, too. He brought back everybody from 112 to Total, Faith Evans, Mary J, Little Kim, Mace, all of them. Um, I liked the documentary. I could see where some had fallen off, haven't done music since they were with him. You know, uh, every bad boy artist, is like their career ended when it ended with, with Puff, you know. But nobody seems to be at odds with him about that. So it's an interesting well, you document. Gotta, you you got to remember, in, in, in the music business, you, you're only as good as your last hit. So, you know, right. when – Taste change, and you're, you're pushing one kind of music. It fades out. Look at what happened to disco. Right. Disco was hot. Disco was hot. Disco oh, yeah. was jumping, and then hip hop came, and and, and everybody moved away Look from disco. Disco died, and 
hip hop yeah. is here. Hip hop is changing, you know, based on the generations. We still my generation.